So I have a list here of some men who have been divorced. And these are Uh-oh. exceptionally attractive men who are high status, high earners. So here we go. Brad Pitt, Johnny Depp, Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates, Elon Musk, Dr. Dre, Ryan Reynolds, Tom Brady, Lance Armstrong, Alex Rodriguez, Channing Tatum, Chris Rock, Ben Affleck, Chris Pratt, Liam Hemsworth, Ben Stiller, David Duchovny, Orlando Bloom, Tiger Woods, Sean Penn, Sylvester Stallone, Paul McCartney, Ryan Felipe, Jason Momoa, Michael Jordan, and uh, did I, I said Tom Brady, right? Yeah. If those men can't hold on to a girl, what chance do you think a regular guy has? Why, why are you laughing? I just think it's funny, like, like the way you worded it, like if they can't hold on to a girl. I'm not, I'm, I just think it's funny. Uh, Mark even gains super chatted $49.99. Money is everything, yes, but money can be found anywhere. Love and appreciation can only come from few. Mm-hmm. I agree. All yeah. right, huh, there you go. I like that, he worded it very Thank well. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Um, yeah, Dr. Dre had to pay his wife over $100 million in the divorce settlement. That's and crazy. they had a prenup. And then Kim K., a billionaire in her own right is getting two hundred thousand dollars a year from Kanye West in child support. Um, so the laws do not benefit men. I don't think men should be getting married. That's your opinion. That should be a law that changes as well. It shouldn't be a percentage based on how much money you make. It should be a set amount to live a, a an average life. You know what I'm saying? An yeah. average normal life. The government shouldn't be. Doing it that. shouldn't be percentage based. That's, that's what ridiculous. we're fighting for, man. That's man, we're fighting that's for ridiculous. this change. We need to have this change. We need to all speak up. If you can start a channel or something or whatever and speak your mind and actually like be be based. Don't just attack women because attacking women ain't gonna get us nowhere. You can't you can't make change with hate. You know what I'm saying? Like I promise I wasn't attacking you. I, I didn't want to like come off no, as that's that. That's okay. I think you are fifty dollars. Prenups are more about fair allocation of assets rather than barring one partner from assets. Don't believe what you see in movies. Marriage in the U.S. is an extremely bad proposition for men, especially successful men. Perspective from an attorney. Shout out Actually, I, re- I think would be really good either a one-on-one episode or to bring on a panel would be to bring on a divorce attorney <laughs> to the show to talk about this because they know firsthand, okay, prenups get thrown out here's how much you can expect to pay in alimony after this many years so yeah it's uh and i actually know a couple uh i know one or two not i've never been divorced but um i know one or two attorneys like that represent some pretty uh like high earning high earning people here in santa barbara so i've been trying to get them on but like it's attorneys are like professional type people so go ahead um, just a comment. I do think it's super sad that marriage is, I mean, for you guys, is just affiliated with money. It's not affiliated with the true meaning of being married. It can destroy our life. I know it can, but it's sad that the world has come to that. That's, so that's I do agree with you and saying how it, you know, it costs a bunch of money, but that shouldn't be what, you know, marriage is about. Okay, well... That's, I mean, idealistically, yes, but we have, as men, we have to be pragmatic, especially if we're the breadwinners, because we have a lot to lose, Mm -hmm. a lot to lose. How many men have their lives absolutely ruined because of divorce? It's... You named off a huge list. Yeah, it's like, (laughs) it's it's bad. And it's, look, the, the marriage laws in the West, in the United States, need to be rewritten. There's no scenario where your wife should cheat and she still gets alimony that's absurd but there's no law that's and i the same should apply if the woman's the breadwinner and the dude cheats he shouldn't get shit either i don't have a double standard on this but it's just it's not a good proposition also this is the, what we're fighting for also now. the court system is incredibly biased <laughs> against men so um, did you want to come yeah in? so i was gonna say that the percentage of people who get divorced, like I said, are, you know, initially by a woman by 